What's going on, guys? So I have a new um, knee protocol that I'm moving on to right now. So a lot of the things are the same. Um, mobility, strength, all of that range of motion. Starting off with some anterior tibialis rollouts. Just It's been feeling good ever since I've been impl implementing this, and I'm not doing that. Not going to take that away. Then moving into some calf raises, just working on the back side of the leg. As I rolled out the front side of the leg, just want to cover all my bases and also helping with foot and ankle stability as well. And then I'm going to be going into more of a split squat knee over toe um, for time. Really want to get the hip flexor on the leg that's back and straight stretched out as I have tension on that knee and tendon. And then I'm going to go to a lateral split squat. As you'll see right here, Bryce is going to stick his head into the camera and mess up my angle right there. Poke his nose. Yeah. Anyways, all planes, all directions. I want to stress those tendons and ligaments in that knee. And then going on to um, up downs, just pretty much little mini hops from one foot at a time to, to a box. And then you can pick up and mess around with the speed. I really like these because you can play around at the distance and the height and um, really build up the tolerance to load and impact for that knee. Then after that, moving into some small mini jumps over a hurdle. Same kind of concept. Just want to produce force and see how that feels in a very low and easy environment. And then kind of bring it into a little more intense environment, um, lateral hops back and forth, just really feeling it out and getting into the hip and see where my knee pain's at. And then after that, moving more into just a really slow, controlled, deep squat with about 25, 30 pounds right here. I'm trying to pop up using some force, but lowering that eccentric load and that stress in that tendon, but trying to pop right out of it. Um, I had a, like a 2.5, 3 out of 10 pain there. Then finishing up with just some hip openers, airplanes, whatever you want to call them. You really want to close off that hip. As you can see, I really do a good job at just turning that hip inward, then closing everything off while maintaining a straight knee. And then just some 90-90 switches, just really working it on internal, external rotation, just really trying to get into the movement, feeling the hips moving around, becoming more fluid. Um, everything extends from the hips and ankles um, and knees. So really have to take care of those uh, supporting structures in our body because don't those don't work we're not walking very well so and then the last one right right here is b stance rdl just really trying to get into my hip internal rotation increase it and moving better i'm um, getting stronger in this movement um, i hope you guys enjoyed this i'll see you guys next week as we do another upper body lift that i changed up and it's super fun